What's going on everybody? My name is Mechanic Dave and uh, this time I figured we'd do something a little bit different. We're going to be pulling an engine out of a car. Uh, I have a small block Ford 351 in a Fox body outside and I figured what better way to pull it out and get ep epic clicks than to uh, post it right, right to YouTube. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, got it. First, before I bring the car in, I went and I got my cherry picker crane, and I have my car, my intake plate, and I have my engine stand. I have all my tools and whatnot, so we're ready to go. Pluck, pluck, pluck that. Fuck me. There it is. 1986 Mercury Capri, 5.0. Not anymore. That. Is a 351 Windsor motor. So factory 320 horsepower. And I'd like to swap that into my other Fox. I like, you know, swap those Cobra R's on there too. They're pretty cool. Big tire. 245, 40, 18. So my seats. Not bad. Not bad, it smells like shit in here. And my seat is wet for some odd reason. Why is it leaking? Because it's a T-top, they always fucking leak. I also want to steal some more parts, but... Yeah, you know, we're going to be putting it in that bay. I don't know how the hell I'm going to move it, though. I'm going to need to push it. That's going to be so a So I bitch. decided not to push it, I decided to actually pull it with a truck. 2000 Toyota Tacoma. SR5, 4x4, 2.7 liter. So, I'm gonna hook that to the front, and I'm gonna pull it, straighten it out, and push it. And it's gonna be perfect. Perfectly aligned, and perfect All ready right, for so, paint. so, we're in the Toyota. Clutch in. Warning, battery low. See that? Battery is low. Gee, you think? Just my luck. But that's what you get for living in New England. Dead batteries all, all right, the so time. I'm here with Michael Jackson, and we're going to jump this fucking thing. This thing is amazing. Honestly, the Beat It. Really good. I've jumped four wheelers. I've sat cranking a 71 Dart for, I don't know, probably like three hours with this thing. And it lasted the whole time. But, yeah, fucking stupid dead interstate battery. Now, how do I do this one-handed? Engine start. Come on. All right, so. It's really difficult doing this one-handed and you're retarded. There we go. All right. So. That. So, hang on. Black to black. Ugh, it's all greasy. I knew I was gonna get greasy, but I didn't want it to be like right now. Hmm. How the fuck does this thing even come up? Oh, there it is. That's stupid. Black to black. Red to red. Now it's on. Is it? Oh, no, I gotta hold this. Trip. I don't know if you heard the breaker in it. Alrighty, ready? Neutral. Fucking God damn it. The thing said green. That doesn't make any sense. What else am I missing? Look, green. Red. I need to be quick about this. I need to not film while I'm doing this. Okay. Don't mind the exhaust leak. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Suck so, it. We got the car in here. And there's your basic 351 Windsor. Factory 300 horsepower. A couple of bolt ons. Nothing too fancy, but hopefully soon. So, to get this out, we're going to need to disconnect power steering. Headers are already disconnected. We're going to need to unbolt the drive shaft, unbolt the uh, tranny mount, unbolt the motor mounts, and then pick it up and it should all lift right out. So let's throw this thing up in the air and unbolt some shit. Now we're up in the air, we can see there's your motor mount right there in both spots. And then we're gonna come over and unbolt a trans or sorry, the drive shaft, which should should actually just slide right out. And then un unbolt the uh, trans mount and then pluck the engine right out. Alright, so uh, uh, got the trans mount unbolted. Now we're moving up the motor mounts. That is a 13 16 socket on there. We got our trusty DeWalt and we're just gonna zip it out. That easy. <laughs> I was kinda hoping it would fall. There it is. Yep. And the key, when the nut just won't come out, you take it. Throw it on the ground. And then you get the fucking hammer. And then you just give her a couple of taps. Oh, oh it stopped right at the tire. <laughs> Almost got lost forever. All the bolts are out. Car's on the ground. I got my cherry picker right here. And we're over just. Lifting the arm so that we can bolt it up to the intake and the whole engine just pops right out. I don't know how well this uh, jet, this thing's going to work considering, come on, alright that's probably good enough. I probably don't even need to masturbate tonight, that was a lot of fucking work. And it was my left hand. That means I worked out twice. Aw, oh, who knows their fucking engine? Come on, that was perfect. Ah, if it'll just go back on. Let me grab my hammer. Plate's on, everything's ready to come out. Now we just need a jack. I'm actually gonna pull this out a little bit so that way I'm not right underneath the uh, radiator support. Let me just start lifting away. Harvested. You know what I did forget to do though? Oh, I could probably do this from inside, but. I forgot the uh, shifter linkage. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't get this on camera. I was jacking it up and then I started taking the uh, pry bar and just getting the headers off and man the snap that those things made holy crap <laughs> I probably should have taken them out but I didn't really care no not all that much the engine's basically out oh uh oops pouring out cheney fluid it'll stop eventually uh, yeah actually I can get to the Trans cable right there. Hell yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna undo that right here. There's no point in crawling underneath it or
cutting it or breaking it. I mean, I could always break it. But. So then when I said I had to uh, remove the power steam pump, but I didn't. It's free. It's out. It's it's out. I can just pull this backwards now. Except that's really fucking heavy and I can't do it with one hand. Maybe I can. Yeah. Yeah. Up. I don't want it. All getting all ripped and broken. I ended up just cutting that cable and buy another one for like two dollars. That was wiring. I need to be there. That's off, that's off. How's my pull of ATF? Oh, it's not that bad. I thought it would have been worse. Uh oh. That was my oil breather. Shoot. Don't kind of don't want that getting dirty. It's brand new. There. there, not that dirty. I'm just gonna put that right there. Oh, those lines. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Sawzall fixes everything. Don't you ever forget that. One line done. Second. See how easy that was? And then you just crimp the lines up so no fluid leaks. Although we're already past that threshold of pouring fluid. Just gonna thread that through there so I don't lose it. And then this gets pulled the rest of the way. A little bit more so don't rip the trans pan. Now yeah, let me get my dip shit. Right. Precisive. There we go. Fucking one-handed. And that is a 351 Windsor and a C4 transmission. Plucked clean out. Those are all great working parts that I will not be in this car. Honestly, I really wanted to do this engine pull because it's starting to snow. Even high. That's why I fucking love these things. Look at the angle on that crane. Yeah, it's cool. Try and move the crane a little bit. Ooh. Alrighty. And there it is. Full separation. We're gonna lower it slowly and unbolt the trans. So there's how you lower it. So just slowly and you crack the seal. And then there it goes, like magic. And they just guide it. Just put it right down. Because once that transmission's off, we're going to pick it right the fuck back up. There you go. There we are. There you go, all the way. All right. All right, I got the starter off, and now the transmission. Actually, I'm gonna lower it a little bit right before I uh, rip it off. 
Yeah. And that should just do that. I just need to unbolt the torque converter and then it can go the fuck on. All right, engine out, transmission off. I wanna see if I can actually reuse that bell housing on that five speed. I don't think I can, but I'd like to see if I can. Oh, car's up in the air again and I pulled the drive shaft out, it's over there. So that way it's not digging into the ground whenever I'm uh, fucking with it. Yeah, you can really see why uh, this is such a shit box. All the floors were rotted. We'll get it. Ugh, puny. <sighs> Boring. Can I do a time lapse, please? Thank you. Oh, much easier. See, it's so much easier to make videos when you do a time lapse. So now this is a getting the fuck out. I'm actually gonna roll this into the truck, hook up the strap, and pull it out.